Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So someone maybe getting their hopes up, putting you know, literally all their eggs in one basket. Someone may not have a backup plan for something. What if something goes wrong? Someone could have chose not to walk away from a situation or somebody did choose to walk away. So somebody could, you know, have their hopes up regarding a situation, possibly an improvement in a situation. Um, and then big in the reverse. So somebody may have ended up walking away from something feeling small or little. I'm getting like very humbling. So somebody could have been very humbled by an experience or a situation. Somebody may have to walk away because somebody didn't think they were the big bad wolf like maybe they thought they were. <clears throat> Don't follow my footsteps. I'm also lost. So that is in the reverse. IRS, we got what it takes to take what you've got in the reverse. So somebody could have done something with taxes, with money. Money, finances could be significant. So there could be a humbling experience for somebody getting caught up um, doing something regarding taxes. Somebody could have filed something that they shouldn't have or that they weren't supposed to. Um, they could have been doing something spiteful. I love you with all my butt. My heart isn't that big. So some, and a thing of beauty is a joy that lasts forever and apart. So another thing that I'm getting is there's something, a situation that could be going on with some money, taxes, um, a very humbling um, situation, but I'm also getting another situation and it could be a separate situation or it could be attached to that, um, but someone may be having loving feelings towards another person but they may not be saying that um they see someone as beautiful a thing of beauty is a joy that lasts forever um, there may be some sort of attachment spiritual tie to somebody um like a long-standing attraction but there could be a distance with a part um somebody loves you more than they're willing to say whoever this message is for because love you with all my butt my heart isn't that big so someone may be coming across as kind of unemotional or possibly even cold-hearted um, maybe very straight faced, you know, poker face kind of energy. Um, but someone loves you or has feelings for you and they may not be saying it, but they, it's like they're struck by your beauty or attractiveness. Um, they're very attracted to you physically. Oh, and nobody was supposed to find out. So that was on the top here. So, um, this may be something that somebody was trying to keep hidden or stop from being discovered. So somebody may be dealing with a situation where um, there may be an attraction to between a couple people here. One of them may be dealing with a karmic um, situation where um, someone is trying to like abuse their power or they're still playing in the other person's energy, um, possibly trying to stay attached to them, probably like trying to cause them like legal issues or financial issues. So somebody could be dealing with some issues and somebody had like every all their eggs in one basket with the fact that um they thought something was going to go in their favor too many cooks spoil the gravy and near so there could be a multi-person situation with someone who could be at a distance from you with near being in the reverse um modesty and humility so um like I said, someone may not have felt humility, but they could be being forced to be humble or they're being humbled. Um, this could be a situation where there's a lot of players in the game. Someone who may be in a non-committed relationship. Um, someone who may be doing like casual dating, something like that. There's something here where there's multiple people involved. Um, whether this is like dating or a third party situation, something too many cooks spoil the gravy. So somebody may end up being humbled by an experience, um, dealing with multiple people because someone here is grounded in the shoe, um, shoes grounded here. And then the past is knocking. So somebody from your past could make an appearance. There could be a connection with someone from your past, <coughs> someone you may know from your past. Um, and you may be grounded or need to ground yourself or someone from your past may need to get grounded here. Um, you can call me anytime in the reverse and finish what I did yesterday, finishing what I did yesterday. So somebody may be doing something in parts or pieces. 
Um, you can call me anytime is in the reverse. So somebody can't communicate all the time. There, there may be um, spaces and times of communication. Um, this could be a situation of somebody being in a marriage or a relationship. It could be a committed relationship. Um, that's why there's too many cooks that spoil the gravy and don't get mad at me. I just read the cards. It's on the cards. I'm just reading the energy. So it is what it is. Uh, but the past is knocking and finishing what I did yesterday. So someone's doing something in steps or parts. It's like they can't get something out all at once. So something is moving forward. It just may be moving slower um, because there's multiple people involved in the situation. move on to some cards here and find out who is involved in this. So somebody may feel like they're heavily burdened or they may have had to take the responsibility on of other people with the Ten of Wands, but whoever this is, you've had the strength and courage and perseverance to keep going, to keep moving forward. You've had to heal from a lot of heartbreaks. You could be in your King of Swords energy. Um, you know, you don't mix your words. You mean what you say. You say what you mean. You may not be so emotional. It, it may be more logical. You may be thinking more logically, making head over heart decisions. Um, you're a very honest person, um, possibly very blunt. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse for something here. So let's see what that's about. I'd like to get some more cards and find out who's experiencing or who did experience some bad luck. Maybe, maybe there was some bad luck in the past. So there was some bad luck that someone experienced with an injustice. There's an injustice here and something didn't go in someone's favor. So this was a no. So this could have been a legal situation um, or just somebody creating an injustice or an imbalance for another person here. So there was some bad luck that someone experienced here that um, could have been intentional to another person that somebody had to heal from. Could have been unintentional, but a lot of times injustices are created, you know, with there's always an intent or a motive for some reason for whatever they do, but something didn't work out in someone's favor, there was an injustice and it brought some bad luck. So somebody took some sort of swift action, could have been some sort of communication or an actual act. Um, I'm getting more of an action, but um, once a lot of times deals with communications. So there could have been some multiple forms of communications um, to cause injustices and to prevent and stop something from going in someone's favor here and to cause bad luck. This is intentional. I feel like this is very intentional. Um, could have been using like the courts or reports or something like that. Page of Wands, messages. So there was messages of communication um, to cause an injustice <clears throat> for another person. And this could have brought some bad luck to themselves. This could have resulted in the breakup of a family. Um, you could be a mother. So this could be a parental figure, mother, father. Um, there was a breakup of a family or a home. So somebody could have made some um, claims, sent messages that somebody wasn't a good parent, that they couldn't take care of something, possibly their kids. Um, there was a breakup within a home. So like I said, if there is a situation here where someone is dealing with multiple people, there could be a karmic energy or somebody that, you know, from the past, that just won't get the fuck out of your energy. They won't leave you alone. They could be using money. They could be using kids. They could have claimed kids on the taxes when they shouldn't have. Um, so somebody could be getting in trouble for tax fraud. But somebody was not compassionate. And this resulted in, like, a, an unstable family. And someone could have tried to say that you had an unstable family. Um, and possibly, you know, um, you just want people to leave you alone because there's multiple actions here with all those ones. Something was done multiple times to keep someone bound or trapped. So somebody was using possibly children to keep someone bound and trapped to keep something attached to you so that you couldn't move forward and have a new start and just live your life. Something is being brought to light regarding this hierophant, this official person that could be a spiritual teacher, preacher, advisor, you know. I'm just an official person in general here. But something is being brought to light regarding this official person. Um, possibly that this was all bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Um, also, the King of Swords could be a judgment going in someone's favor that's heavily burdened that's going to help heal this heartbreak. Yeah. Sometimes the King and Queens of Swords can be judgments or orders. They can be judges, um, you know. The Hierophant could be a, someone who's in a position of authority. So something is being brought to light about this official person, and this can also be a judgment that is going to go in someone's favor and help bring financial security and stability to their family. Maybe there was a financial imbalance created because somebody was only cared about money, finances, so they could have done something really bad with children, claiming children. Whatever their situation, someone's getting caught up in something here. Because somebody was using children or something like that. Children and money to um, keep someone bound or trapped. So once again, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So someone may have experienced some bad luck with the King of Swords in the reverse. So there's a King of Swords here. This could have even been a judge, okay, or a liar. Somebody ex is experiencing bad luck or has experienced bad luck ever since they made a bad decision and caused an injustice or made a ruling that created an injustice um, against somebody else. Because someone here has Ace of Pentacles, a new start, a new beginning. It could be a large lump sum of money. Um, it could be a new job, house, career, relationship, whatever the situation. Somebody was a liar. Someone was dishonest. And someone is experiencing bad luck and karma for making a bad judgment call against somebody when they didn't deserve it, and possibly because it resulted in the breakup of a family. And there's a victory here. So there's a new start and a new beginning and a victory, which is bringing a tower moment. Somebody did not expect this because there was an injustice created, and I love it when my cards do that. I love it when it just reconfirms what I just said. The swift action being taken. So there's a swift action. There's message swiftly. Something's going to be happening quickly here. And it's going to be bringing a tower moment. This injustice that was created caused a very emotional situation. So there's a lot of emotions and feelings tied up in this. Especially if, you know, um, a parent or a child has suffered because of this. If this was due to a court judgment or a situation within the court system. You know, there was a judge who made a bad call, a bad decision. Now, whether they were corrupt or just, you know, slacking on the job that day or whatever, um, somebody made a bad decision and they could be experiencing bad luck. And also the person who lied and made all these allegations about somebody being a bad parent or having an unstable home, something like that. Um, it's not going to work out in their favor either because someone is going to have a new start, a new beginning. They're going to have a victory. And this is going to bring a huge tower moment, unforeseen events, circumstances, um, you know, no one can control what's about to happen because balance always has to be restored. You have to have balance. When people create imbalances, it's going to be balanced out. That's what karma is about. Now, you can believe in it or not believe in it. It doesn't matter. It still exists. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to happen. People can only get away with doing shit for so long. There was an emotional situation, you know, that somebody was not happy about. So, um, somebody could have you know, with that, a cycle could have closed out with someone being able to keep doing something repeatedly over and over again, because I feel like there was some sort of communication or allegations made over and over and over again, um, with all those actions, with all that communications with the one situation. And someone's pissed that no matter how many times they did something, it didn't work out. And they just, it's like they kept doing it and doing it and lying and lying. And people, I feel like people are tired of dealing with it. And they put all their eggs in the bas their basket thinking that this was going to work out in their favor. And they're finding out that they screwed themselves and it's not going to work out the way they thought it was. So the challenge here is somebody could have been just a gold digger. This could have been a, a masculine energy um, who's going to end up in despair. The challenge here is there's someone here is going, going to be in despair, whether this is the King of Pentacles or because of the King of Pentacles. Um, someone's in despair here because something didn't work out the way they thought it was going to. 
And it could be they were, they're in despair because someone's being set free. Because they can't do it anymore. So it could be this King of Pentacles who's upset because someone's being set free from all this stuff. Something could be getting laid to rest once and for all. Because people are just tired of dealing with it. The courts may be tired of dealing with it. It's like, okay, we told you to leave this person alone. You're not doing that. We've done this. Like, what more do you want? Like, we, you know, you make these allegations. We go investigate. We don't find anything. Why do you keep doing this? I'm just getting all these questions. Like, someone is being questioned by another person. Because someone does have a clean slate. A queen of swords here. There's a queen of swords here. And they have a clean slate, a new start, a new beginning. So they could have changed direction, switched something up, went a different direction in life. They have a new start coming. And that is devastating for this karmic energy who just doesn't want to see it coming. There's a king of swords here that's rushing in with some sort of truth, okay? They want to do something quickly. The knight of swords, some, something is going to be happening quickly with the king of swords. So we have the queen of swords and the king of swords. But there's some sort of action... Um, or truth that a king of swords is going to be speaking possibly about the fact that they want to have a new beginning with this queen of swords and there's going to be a happy stable family whether someone else wants it or not whether a karmic energy wants to keep interfering and trying to stop this feminine energy for moving forward with their life. This feminine is going to move on with their life. There is a masculine that wants to partner up with them, help give them financial stability. Someone brought themselves under judgment for trying to stop this Queen of Swords from getting some sort of money that was owed to them. And all because they wanted some sort of money. It could have been a masculine that was expecting a feminine to pay them child support or something like that. Like I said, there was something to do with taxes because the tax thing came out. Um, so that is very significant for some. Maybe not for all, but for some. Someone who was not an official person here. And they wanted someone else to be left out in the cold. And they ended up got, getting left out in the cold. So this could have been an, a past relationship where the Queen of Swords was with. Um, a karmic masculine energy and there was an ending this person may have gotten left out in the cold or they left this person out in the cold as, as punishment they retaliated by like trying to punish them the rest of their lives using children and money and just causing chaos and havoc for them but there's something really significant happening because something is moving forward the chariot something is moving it could be um, the queen of swords moving or something moving towards this person but there's something in motion regarding this queen of swords and this person can't stop it this karmic energy is really trying to stop this queen of swords from moving forward and having this new start this new beginning mm. So there was an emperor here, there, here's a challenge, there's an emperor here who celebrated um, victory too soon. So there's somebody here, this masculine energy, celebrated having a victory. They really did put their eggs in one basket because some rushing quickly, the knight of swords again, the chariot, something is moving quickly, quicker than other people expect. There's going to be a quick change, a quick movement. The queen of swords could be moving quickly. Um, changing locations. There was not a positive outcome for a Queen of Wands. Okay, so it could have been a Queen of Wands energy. Um, in the reverse, somebody who wanted to play games. Somebody who was non-committal. Someone who was not an official person. So there's a Queen of Wands here. Who could have been part of a third party situation. And there was not a positive outcome, so they could have gotten left out in the cold for an official person. So, um, you know, there could be, on the flip side, there could be a masculine energy that's going to leave a Queen of Wands energy behind for a Queen of Swords. Like, if they're mirroring each other, you know, it happens. Sometimes energies mirror each other if they're your divine counterpart. There was a heartbreaking situation involving a Queen of Wands, and it did not have a positive outcome because somebody got left out in the cold. Someone's a true High Priestess, so th this Queen of Swords, something is really happening for this person, this practitioner, um, this spiritual person.
and you know you don't have to be a spiritual person but i know if you're a high priestess you you have to be because you're that elevated and at that point you have to be pretty tapped in pretty ascended to reach that status that's not something that's not something that just because everyone goes and claims they're a high priestess doesn't mean it's the truth but anyways there's a queen of swords here someone's rushing in quickly something is happening very quickly for this high priestess but there was a queen of wands who was interfering and they didn't have a positive outcome regarding this situation and they could be really pissed off about being left out in the cold so you know if this queen of wands was connected to a, the, a king of swords energy or even like a gold digging ass king of pentacles like they could have been pushing this person to take some sort of action to cause a financial imbalance or cause more harm for this queen of swords energy there's a death there's an ending coming to this heartbreak this person this feminine energy like okay so i'm going to use this as an example okay so say your ex is involved in this and you're a feminine if you're a divine femme okay your ex got married or got in a relationship something like that and they're the ones that are pushing them to do something with the queen of wands in the reverse somebody was just being very reckless and careless and they caused a heartbreak they were trying to cause a heartbreak and something is going to end because of this and justice is going to be balanced out for this high priestess the real one if this was a queen of wands that was trying to compete if this is the queen of wands in the reverse let me specify in the reverse this karmic ass crazy biatch trying to compete with a queen of swords there was no competing okay so if this person wished they were a high priestess it, they're not the queen of swords is the true high priestess here There can only be one. <laughs> and no, don't get in the comments and be like, no, there can, be, there can be more than one high priestess in this world. That's not what I meant. If you don't know what I meant, then just, you know, whatever. Let it go. <laughs> I mean, in this situation specifically. Because someone is very gifted and talented, and um, there's a Six of Pentacles. Somebody could be wanting to gift someone something here to bring financial balance. Somebody could be wanting to be financially generous. Um, the scales are going to be balanced out financially for someone here. Even though you have whoever this is, possibly someone from your past that is just intentionally causing problems for you and more burdens that you keep having to persevere from, that Ten of Wands energy. So we have Queen of Swords in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. So that could be something that happened from the past, or it could be that somebody was just, you know, a lion ass female, cold hearted female. <clears throat> so somebody is being set free. Whoops. Somebody is being set free. So it can also be that this is the Queen of Swords um, that is being set free from something. Because someone could have said that this Queen of Swords was suffering from some sort of di addiction or obsession and they were not able to take care of themselves. That Someone may have made the accusation that someone's not capable of taking care of their kids because they're addicted to whatever, um, you know, whatever addiction it may be. Um, but there is a Ten of Pentacles here and being set free. So something was a lie regarding a queen of swords somebody said that someone suffered from some addiction and they just weren't able to function as a parent they were connected to a karmic situation but there's a two of cups situation here there's a partnership here that's going to help bring this ten of pentacles and this financial stability somebody was a liar they sent a message they lied so there's a karmic here who lied about a queen of swords and that's what happened here this queen of swords um, is is an upright feminine energy i'm getting that this is more of an upright feminine energy and this queen of wands just wanted to cause pain for this person because someone here is coming out of the cold there's a two of cups situation someone's coming out of the cold someone could be getting left out in the cold because someone was lying 
regarding some sort of communication. So there was communication that was lies. They were lies. Somebody was lied to. Someone lied here. So it could be a karmic ex that was lying about the Queen of Swords. And it could be a feminine energy that was jealous of this Queen of Swords. So it could be a same-sex relationship. It could be two feminines that were in a relationship. So the Queen of Wands could actually be a jealous, you know, feminine or it could just be um, a masculine who was in their Queen of Wands little bitch ass energy, you know? Somebody who's not a natural born leader, somebody who can't stand on their own, someone who's very codependent. Someone could have even lied to the courts with the Knight of Wands here. So there was some sort of communication and it was all lies. Like everything was lies. And someone is in despair to find out about this. There's a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here. There's a Queen of Pentacles that found out about something. And this caused despair. So, this could also be, you know, um, I mentioned a marriage situation or something like that. When I split the deck at the very beginning, I had the King of Pentacles um, when I split the deck. But there's a very emotional situation here. Regarding somebody coming out of the cold or someone being left or both. Because like I said, there could be a third party situation where there's a karmic situation. Um, a third party situation. Um, and someone may find out the hard way about something. Could be that somebody, um, this a gold digger ass energy, was upset because their lies didn't take hold. They didn't take root. Um, they were trying to take something. So the Queen of Pentacles could be very emotional and upset because they were not able to take something from this Queen of Swords. Because they don't make emotional decisions, they think logically. So they didn't act impulsively regarding something. Someone was trying to provoke another person, and they thought they were going to get some sort of money or finances from it, but someone here is like just a low vibrational gold, gold digger energy, whether it's a masculine or feminine. Once again, it could be a masculine and their feminine energy here. Or it could be same-sex situation of two, fe of two fe feminines. So judgment was called on a high priestess, okay? high priestess in the reverse here and so they're in despair so someone's a counterfeit someone's a wannabe <clears throat> and once again it could be like if you are a divine femme and you are married to a masculine it could be whoever they remarry to um or whoever they're in a relationship with that's very jealous and envious and um you know they could just be with somebody for money or finances because they can't support themselves they're very codependent uh, meanwhile, you're like the Queen of Swords, and like you can just nail stuff on your own. You think very logical, you know, like you're organized step by step. You know, you're very methodical in your approach to things. Um, but like with the Queen of Wands energy, that that person could also be very flighty. Someone could be very flighty, and it's like they're very non-committal. It's like they keep hopping from things to things, places to places, and like they keep ended up, ending up being disappointed in life because they need to go heal something about themselves that's why they're not the high priestess they want to be the high priestess but in order to be a true high priestess you have to go heal those wounds and you know that's not always easy it's hard to do and so people don't want to do the work but someone here is too blessed to be stressed and someone is eavesdropping so be careful um, someone was under an illusion so if this is someone who was trying to be a divine femme they're under an illusion they're never going to match this person they can never be this person Somebody feels like something was love at first sight. So, you know, there is a two of cups situation. There is a partnership that's going on or somebody feels like um, something was love at first sight. But my wife and I are very happy. Someone here could be married, okay? Um, however, that applies to your situation, whether this is your ex that is married and still has those feelings for you or um, someone else from your past that you knew. Um, that you could have reconnected with, um, and they could be married, and so there could just be a situation here, like there's a, I told you there's too many cooks in the kitchen, <laughs> there's, there's a lot, oh, 
it seems to be these readings are getting more and more complex. There's always someone in here, like, and it seems like multiple people. Be a carrier. Smiles are contagious. In the reverse, someone could have also have caught something or said they caught something. Um, they could have tried to create an illusion. That, and so, like, some your ex could have said that you had, like, an STD or something so no one would come towards you or want to be with you. <laughs> And you're, you don't have anything. Someone's anxious here. Someone has a lot of anxiety regarding their marriage. But having feelings towards someone else here with... Um, they said or felt like it was love at first sight. There's a dark witch or a warlock here that's anxious as well. And it could be the person who's married to this person who wants to come towards you. Um, someone could have been doing spell work. It's like that high priestess in the reverse. It would be like a dark practitioner, people who are, and there's, you know, I don't want to get into that. I'm not dissing, you know, whatever path you're on. Do what you got to do. Just no balance is going to be restored. But it could be someone who's doing some jar work, spell work, um, hexing, cursing somebody um, because they don't like them. But you, I don't know how many times I have to warn people if you do stupid shit like that and someone doesn't deserve it, it's coming right back to you. Okay, some people are just naturally divinely protected, especially if they're in the upright, not outgoing and screwing people over and trying to hurt people on purpose and doing stupid shit, okay? Some people actually do try to live their life in a very balanced, you know, an upright way. Um, that doesn't mean that, you know, you're all love and light all the time. Doesn't mean you're not balanced with your darkness. Um, but when you go around trying to bring chaos to other people, with hexing and cursing that's what you're trying to do you're trying to bring chaos loki energy mischief like you are intentionally trying to fuck up someone's shit that's the kind of shit that's going to bring you your karma okay when you intentionally want to bring harm to someone your intentions and your motives have a lot to do with this and i don't care if you're a good witch a light worker whatever your intentions is what matters it doesn't matter what ingredients you use it doesn't matter what spell you're trying to cast it's your intentions that gives it power so if your intention is to hurt someone that shit's gonna come back to you i don't give a shit what you say it's coming back to you even more so i i don't care if someone says return to sender times three times ten whatever it's coming back with interest okay it doesn't matter whether someone says it or not it's coming back to your ass because those balances are gonna be balanced back out so if you're out doing shady shit to people you better be careful because someone is actually in the upright here and someone is a wannabe and they're trying to bring chaos to someone else because they're afraid of possibly losing a marriage here because someone is in love with somebody and it looks like you know there is a betrayal here Some, someone could have possibly snapped and someone slept with someone you know and this is going to be confusing for someone someone's confused um yeah so someone may be confused if they find this out um they may be surprised to you know like There is a third party situation in here somewhere. Um, someone could have been accused of being sleep, could, could have been accused of sleep. Someone's gonna sleep with someone, you know, in the next like two to four weeks. Someone could be very confused about how they feel, um, you know, with fighting their feelings, going back and forth. Um, they can be very conflicted, okay? In the next two to four weeks, someone's gonna be struggling with how they feel about someone. Someone didn't have a clue what they were doing. They thought they were the best thing since sliced bread. They may have pretended like they wanted to bury the hatchet with you, like a frenemies kind of thing. Like, yeah, we're cool. Like, you know, we can be buddies. We can hang out. Like, we can, you know, have like a blended family or something, some kind of thing. Like, the, if this is, um, you know, like someone you were married and have kids too with, like somebody could have, you know, like their 
current partner could have tried to like be buddy buddy with you or some stupid like shit like that but someone's watching you and someone thinks something is all fun and games it's not all fun and games someone's gonna fuck around and find out hold your tongue someone's someone knows a secret um or someone secretly thinks you're as cute as a button so it's like it could also be that someone just needs to keep their mouth shut because what they're doing is not cute, especially if they're not the best thing since sliced bread because someone's just being a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt. Something significant about the crack of dawn. So something in the morning time, someone could be doing some spell work way early in the morning time before someone gets out of bed, some stupid shit like that. Um, their spouse may not even know they're doing this shit. And if they do, then shame on them. But um, yeah, if there's someone here, this person could be getting up sometime like in the middle of the night or before dawn or you know before their partner wakes up and and that could be your ex or something like that but someone is like um getting up before them and like doing spell work this like high priestess in the reverse and i really feel like they're trying to put your name in a jar and some shit like so someone's definitely doing some sort of legit spell work on you whoever you are for some of you <clears throat> They wanted you to lose everything but the kitchen sink, and it's not going to be funny when it happens to them. There's some sort of, um... Secret. There could be a secret here that someone's trying to dig up or find some sort of secret to cause you to lose everything but the kitchen sink. They think something is cute. Like, they really do think that something is all fun and games, and someone's watching you, and they think this is funny. But like I said, it's not going to be funny when the shit goes back to them. Because it's coming back. It's going back with a vengeance. If this is your ex, your ex could be leaving. There, there, there's ultimately going to end up being a separation here because of this stupid shit. Scorpio could be significant. Against all odds in the reverse. Somebody really thought they were going to win and stop you from beating the odds. It's like somebody really did underestimated you. And then I have Scorpio again and a Leo. And someone could have lost their temper. Um, someone snapped because someone is in love. Someone does have a love offer coming in and they're going forward. An Aquarius could be significant. An Aquarius is getting a wake up call. They could be awakening to their feelings. You know, they felt like something was, it could be them who felt like something was love at first sight. Somebody was all talk and no action. Like, somebody may have said they were healed or healing, like this dark practitioner, but something was all lies. Somebody didn't want to put forth the work, and someone's getting caught red-handed. There's a wake-up call that's coming because someone's going to get caught red-handed, um, you know, being compassionate possibly towards somebody else or being caught doing spell work towards another person something is going to be exposed or brought out in the open here they're going to get caught someone's getting caught for doing some shady shit like father like son okay so impatience is a virtue so there could be something significant here this could be the father of your child um you know this could be the father you know it doesn't have to be father son it could be mother daughter kind of thing um there's something significant here, caught red-handed, like father, like son. So, um, you know, if it's the father that's involved in a third party, maybe this father, like your baby daddy, might want, you know, be trying to hook up with you after they've moved on. That could be significant. Um, you know, however the situation is for you, um, there's definitely a third party situation here. And someone brought themselves under judgment because they're going to get caught red-handed. Like something is going to be exposed. Whether this is um, the person that they're attached to now catching something. Like someone never lost feelings for you. I feel like someone never lost love for you. If you were with someone, if you were married to someone and have a kid for them, they've been trying to punish you because you walked away from them. It hurt them and they're still hurt by this. And, but they still love you. Like, that's the fucked up thing. So they may have tried to rekindle something. They could have tried to make you, like, a third party to the situation they have going on now. Their current person, whoever they're with, whether they're married or not, could have picked up on this shit. I, something is going to... 
there's a big tower moment coming, okay? But something is a blessing in disguise. And you know how to make the best out of a bad situation. So, I mean, it's going to be okay for, you know, whoever the divine femme is. Um, you know, if there's a divine masculine in here, um, it's going to be okay for them. But, you know... Someone's going to be pissed off, or someone is pissed off currently. That came out sideways, so that's now in your future energy. And karma's a bitch. Someone didn't want to see things your way, see eye to eye with you. They didn't want to see eye to eye with you. They they tried to be a pain in your ass, right? Um, they wanted you to be as poor as a church mouse and in poverty. And, you know, someone's about to head into their worst nightmare. Something is a blessing in disguise for one person, but for the other person, it's going to be their worst nightmare. And they're hitting the panic button. Because you're sharp as a tack. So someone is, like, losing their shit because you're smart. Cancer could be significant here. Someone could have been older here. Um, or younger. Um, it's in the reverse here. So somebody older could have wanted you to be as poor as a church mouse. Or someone here who thought they were older and wiser. Maybe um, poor as a church mouse. Um, and this could even be a feminine energy who's older than you. It may not even be by much. It doesn't really matter. But there's someone here who's older who wanted another person to be as poor as a church mouse or as poor as a church mouse. Someone's just going to be really pissed off. Some, something's just not going to work out the way somebody thought it was going to. A Virgo could be significant. They're not getting their moment of glory, moment of truth. Time is of the essence. But someone's trying to lead someone on a wild goose chase because they're not being sincere. Someone's going to fly the coup. There's not a positive outcome. Someone's not getting their moment in the sun on a Sunday. There's a wolf at the door. Okay, so someone's trying to be a wolf. Someone's wearing sheep's clothing. Someone's being deceptive and cunning and, you know, not being honest. They just want what they want and what they can get from another person. All right, person, place, or thing. Z could be significant. I thought that was a C. U. Another U. <laughs> so someone wants to be you. <laughs> someone wishes they could be you. Someone's trying to mirror you. Someone's mirroring you as well. Someone's trying to mirror you. Someone's trying to copy you and someone is mirroring you. D. <laughs> but someone's a ditz. <laughs> someone's a dingbat. You know, someone's ditzy. Like, they're just... They're just not. They can't. They can't. They will never be you. They're too much of a dingbat. W. And this doesn't have to be even on, like, an IQ scale or something. Someone's just not that intelligent. Or as smart as they thought they were. I... Someone's definitely being watched. So this could be a ditzy person watching you, stalking you, you know, whatever the situation. This person is such a wannabe. H. Don't even know more. And another H. So there's definitely partnering up. There's like duplicates here. There's definitely two pairs. So we have two U's, two I's, and two H's. D, T, Z, W. I hope this helps. Have a good day.